the X-Men. Yeah, as hard as it may be to believe, they are coming to the MCU eventually. The mutants were officially name-dropped alongside Blade and the Fantastic Four at 2019 San Diego Comic-Con by Kevin Feige. Since then, though, we've only gotten the occasional rumor, but nothing concrete or with any real evidence supporting it. But following the recent news that talks about Blade with the director, screenwriter, Kevin Feige and others had started, and rumors that John Krasinski has been cast as a variant of Mr. Fantastic in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, it was only a matter of time before we got something for the X-Men 2. Now, while it's quite likely that Sir Patrick Stewart's Professor X and Deadpool will appear in Doctor Strange 2, technically introducing mutants into the MCU, at least Professor X will be a variant. And while it's probably safe to say that other mutants will be introduced down the road, according to main middleman, Marvel Studios is currently looking for a director for the first MCU X-Men film. So I guess we're getting close to an official announcement. But to be honest, of course a director is an integral part of filmmaking, and we've seen how much of a difference having a good director can make. But this is the freaking X-Men. There is literally nothing to be worried about. Spider-Man got John Watts, who's literally made one of, if not the best Spider-Man movies ever, with this trilogy being by far the highest grossing and really damn good. And now he's moving on to another just as important and challenging franchise, the Fantastic Four. So I know that Marvel is going to get another amazing director and screenwriters for the X-Men. What I'm really excited and curious about though, is who are they going to cast and which mutants will make up the MCU's first X-Men team? That's what I really want to know. Because I feel like while a director and the screenwriters are important, if you don't cast the right actors, it's all for nothing. However, we've seen time and time again that Marvel Studios has the pull. They're constantly in talks with Keanu Reeves, John Krasinski has been cast as Mr. Fantastic, Sir Patrick Stewart's Professor X will return in Doctor Strange 2, and they got Toby and Andrew to return, which for months, fans refused to believe was something that could be done. I mean, just look at James Gunn casting Will Poulter as Adam Warlock. I have nothing against the actor, but I wouldn't have cast him as Warlock, but Gunn did, and he's even tweeted that Poulter is doing an amazing job, and he's seriously happy and impressed. Anyways, moving on, Anytime I talk about Charlie Cox returning as Daredevil, or I talk about John Bernthal's Punisher, or other dark and gritty characters like Ghost Rider or Blade, I get comments saying that they shouldn't even be cast in the MCU, and that unless they're rated R, they're going to be ruined by Marvel. Well, hopefully those of you who leave these comments will be happy to know that according to Film Informant and other sources, you can expect Moon Knight to be a pretty big departure for the MCU. It's bloody and hyper-violent, and it seems to be very much in its own corner of the universe. Now, this next part is just me thinking out loud and has no merit whatsoever. But the TV spot we got the other day which revealed that the Moon Knight trailer would come out today was not posted by Disney+, Plus, but rather Hulu. And while we know that Moon Knight will release on Disney+, Plus, and the TV spot even reaffirms that, Hulu is Disney's answer to more mature content. So I wonder if while Moon Knight will be PG-13, that universe that they're undoubtedly starting to build along with Werewolf by Night and Blade and eventually the Midnight Suns could become some kind of dark, gritty, and horrific journey into mystery style universe that eventually gets moved over to Hulu. Now again, I don't really think this will happen. Marvel Studios and the big wigs at Disney want all the big hitters on Disney Plus to help drive subscriptions. And should Moon Knight be really popular, and alongside Deadpool 3 open the door allowing Marvel to dive into the more mature pool, they'll probably just end up biting the bullet and leaving all that on Disney Plus instead of moving it to Hulu. I mean, Netflix has tons of mature content mixing with stuff for kids, and they're the most popular streaming platform, so Disney can do the same with theirs. Anyways, tangent aside, we also got another leaked image of Moon Knight's suit, which is more detailed than anything we've seen from the TV spots. Unfortunately, I can't say whether this is a better look than we got in the trailer since I recorded this before the trailer actually came out. But the suit does in my opinion look slightly better like this. I'm still not the biggest fan, but like this it's at least more visually pleasing. And one reason may be because he's not wearing the helmet and hood. But either way, Moon Knight is a Marvel character in the MCU, which means that if he appears in 5 projects, he'll get at least 5 different versions of his suit. So it wouldn't surprise me if by season 2 we have a more comic accurate and better looking suit. But now, now's what you've been waiting for. Andrew Garfield is down to play Spider-Man against Tom Hardy's Venom. In a recent interview on the Happy Sad Confused podcast, Andrew Garfield opened up about the possibility of returning for more movies as Spider-Man, including a third standalone film of his own, saying in terms of moving forward with the character, I'm definitely open to that. It would have to be something very unique, very special, and of service to the audience and the character. I think there's something playful and unique and odd and unexpected to be done. I'm not sure what it is, but if we can figure it out, that would be so much fun. And when asked what he thought of facing off against Tom Hardy's Venom, he said that's a cool idea. So while this is awesome news, it doesn't automatically confirm that the Amazing Spider-Man 3 will happen. But given the rumors that he'll appear in Venom 3, and the most recent rumors that the Morbius delay and reshoots were to include Garfield in the movie, it seems more and more likely that this is the route that Sony is going with the character and their universe. But let me know what you guys think about all this. Which characters do you think will be a part of the MCU's X-Men? How excited are you for Moon Knight? And do you like the suit? Am I being too hard on it? What did you think of the trailer? And would you like to see Andrew and Sony's Spider-Man universe taking on Morbius, Venom, and Craven, or should the Tasmverse be separate? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you will never miss another video. 
Thanks for watching and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.